Hey guys, so welcome to all of you on our channel. So friends, first of all, a very warm good morning to you. So friends, uh, as you know that we have a dedicated series on our channel uh, in which we daily post uh, some facts and uh, we have uh, named this series Knowledge Valley So let's see what are the facts for today. So daily we, we, give, uh, we give a lecture on a particular topic and you will uh, you get the idea of that topic. So it is not that uh, you have to read that topic or uh, that is very complex topic. It is just a general uh, topic that we pick up and uh, we explain about it to you people because it is of uh, uh, interest for you people also and for others also uh, uh, in their day to day life. So friends today we will be talking about the healthcare scenario in India. So friends, uh, healthcare. Before showing you, explaining you the slide, uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, when when comes the uh, word healthcare in our mind, in the minds of Indians, uh, the the mo most uh, most common perception that comes is of a, a gloomy picture. The, uh, we we see a kind of a deplorable condition of our infrastructure, healthcare infrastructure of our hospitals that that whether that of that they are of. Uh, uh, primary level, they are of secondary level or tertiary level. So quite uh, in India, the infrastructure is quite, uh, we can say, unsatisfactory. And also there is a problem of high out-of-pocket expenditure. Uh, there is a problem of high disease burden. Communicable diseases are very much uh, uh, there in India, including India's uh, demography is sh seeing a shift towards uh, uh, your uh, non-communicable diseases that are they, they that are called uh, we can say uh, chronic diseases for example uh, your uh, cardiovascular diseases or for that matter can cancer and other other diseases so friends uh, in this video we will be talking about a report which has been prepared by a us based organization and we will give you the idea about india's healthcare by taking that report in perspective so let's see. So there is an organization called Center for Disease Dynamics, Economics and Policy. So this is an organization that is based in USA. So it has released the report uh, about the healthcare scenario in India. So we will look at uh, some of the findings of this report. So this report said that India faces a shortage of 6 lakh doctors and 2 million nurses. 2 million means 20 lakh nurses. So friends, you can see that uh, uh, the problem is very much there of, of shortage of staff. So 6 lakh doctors is quite a large number. So we don't have 6 lakh doctors and 20 million nurses. In this context, we can talk of uh, 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 the, the lack of access to medical education. So, in, in, uh, in, if, if, if the doctors are less, then certainly uh, our colleges are not enough uh, to, 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 uh, to make the doctors and to, uh, to, ma uh, to make the, uh, the, the workforce of the country to engage them in the, in the healthcare sector. So, that's why we face a huge shortage. So, here only the, not the shortage of uh, doctors comes, but the question also of, your, of the education comes that why it is so, that why the doctors' numbers are less. So if ca in case uh, we find that uh, the, this report has said that uh, in India uh, the, the, there is uh, approximately one doctor per 10,000 population. So you can see the number, uh, exact number, but I am saying approximately. But WHO recommends one, ra one is 2,000 doctor. So where uh, our one doctor is serving to 10,000 10, people, the ideal, uh, ideal number is one doctor per 1,000 population. So for, for us, it must be 10, 10 doctor uh, per 10,000 people. But there, only one doctor is there for, ser for serving the 10,000 people instead of 10, uh, 10 doctors. So you can see that also the burden on the already uh, engaged workforce that is there in healthcare uh, uh, is, is quite a quite a large. So you can also imagine that if, if, the, if the burden is high, then uh, then services are not that much satisfactory. So it is a natural outcome because obviously burden in burden a uh, person cannot uh, uh, we can say realize its potential to the best way so in the best way so other problem that this report found uh, is that uh, there is lack of access to antibiotics uh, and it kills more people currently than does antibiotic resistance so friends uh, in india there is a dual problem dual problem in in the sense that uh, we also don't have uh, adequate number of antibiotics uh, to, uh, to give to the people so people are not able to access the antibiotics and other problem is of 
antibiotic resistance so what is antibiotic resistance if you might uh, might have heard uh, or might have read about uh, 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 read about uh, a little about your uh, uh, we can say uh, medical medical science then you will be able to understand this antibiotic resistance so basically uh, what the what the pro what the problem in india is that uh, the medi medications are available in on, on over the counter in you can see in pharmacies you can get any 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 number of medicines or antibiotics so people don't follow a planned uh, planned we can say course and they take uh, antibiotic when they feel ill and uh, when when they when they are not that much uh, of, of of level that that, that antibiotic is required to them but they take it and then after once they get cured uh, they 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 leave it instead of completing the course so in this manner slowly slowly the slowly the uh, the bacteria or the pathogen that is in our body it it accommodates itself uh, to the adverse conditions to the adverse conditions that the antibiotic will pose to it and uh, due to this reason that uh, that uh, that pathogen becomes resistant to uh, res res resistant to antibiotic so in this case uh, your antibiotics that are already in the market they they become uh, we can say ineffective so in this way there is dual problem of lack of access to antibiotics as well as antibiotic resistance is there so other thing that uh, this uh, survey found uh, this this organization found is that uh, in india there is a high out of pocket expenditure uh, or to uh, over the healthcare so what does it mean friends uh, in in developed countries or in countries where uh, your development indicators are are, are given uh, uh, very high importance uh, the there is insurance of people the, uh, for example there is health insurance of uh, people there is accidental insurance of people life insurance of people so in that case what happens if in case Yes, the person's health uh, it becomes uh, we can say adverse then there is a government mechanism to help that person uh, because uh, that person has the health insurance and the entire expenditure is borne by the government or the majority expenditure is borne by the government or the insurance company but in India there is uh, if, if we can say uh, 100 rupees is spent on healthcare then 65 rupees is sent uh, is, is spent out of your own pocket so what 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 does this indicate and what are the implications for it so friends the implications are that in case uh, 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 you, your health becomes ill you become ill and your health conditions become adverse then it is uh, it will it is very much possible that you have to spend out of your pocket and uh, and you you are uh, uh, and if you are ill and you have to spend out of your pocket then quite, uh, you also know that in India healthcare is not that much uh, that much we can say affordable so uh, our, our uh, government hospitals uh, their their infrastructure is is totally in a deplorable condition so they uh, the people don't go to to uh, public healthcare infrastructure or the public healthcare services they ha they are forced to go to 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 get the services from the private player so private player charges a quite quite a large amount so this is also this is also a problem of india so in that case the person is pushed into the poverty so for example take the example if any household uh, has only one earning member and in case he gets ill then certainly it is possible it is it is certain that he, the, that family that household will be pushed into the poverty line because uh, the uh, only only her earning hand now is is uh, ill and and uh, he he has also he or she also has to spend on his uh, his or her health in that case uh, the, the 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 economic condition of the family uh, becomes poor uh, uh, deplorable as well as uh, we can say uh, uh, unsatisfactory so this is the report so uh, i have uh, tried to explain to you in in a broad manner uh, with the, with as much clarity as possible so let's see now what are the general problems with our india's healthcare system uh, that are not mentioned by this uh, this report but I, that have been included by me uh, that is uh, friends your poor infrastructure so i have already explained to you that there is poor infrastructure in our healthcare whether it is if we see the primary healthcare centers or the the secondary healthcare centers or or your tertiary healthcare centers in terms of uh, go, uh, uh, in terms of public infrastructure we don't have facilities in uh, our uh, there are uh, no no government facilities in remote areas for example there are no labs for diagnosis of diseases because first of all friends diagnosis is very important so the, without diagnosis you cannot proceed with the with the treatment so th there are not lab enough labs in in in, in remote areas and also there are not there is not uh, the, that much uh, that much of uh, 
uh, skill level in the persons there that are that are employed there and also uh, other problem as i have told you is of uh, understaffed hospitals and this includes both your medical and paramedical staff so by medical staff is doctors and paramedical is uh, nurse, nurses and all other persons so uh, hospitals are understaffed and another issue is friends of which is very important in the context of india is low financing so they uh, friends let me tell you that india spends only 1.2% of its of its gdp on healthcare whereas countries like uh, the, the, that are developed quite developed they they spend a quite, quite a large amount of their uh, uh, gdp share on healthcare so uh, uh, in india there is time and again a debate there there, there is a, there is an issue raised time and again that uh, the the financing must be increased but the government is not increasing the financing you you can observe the fact from this that uh, uh, in uk the government contribution to insurance uh, to healthcare insurance is 83.5% whereas in india it is 32 uh, 32% so you can see that uh, uh, 68% of the cost must be borne by the person so uh, uh, i have already explained to you in previous slide that 65% of the burden is a kind of uh, born by the person who is ill so there is also another issue of issue friends there that is of rural urban disparity so doctors are not available uh, in rural areas because they are not willing to go to rural areas and uh, uh, they they are not willing to offer their services in such areas because uh, they 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 think that there is no career growth uh, in uh, in in rural areas and another another issue is of friends uh, that uh, that doctors are leaving the public sector to join the private sector so in private sector there is quite a uh, quite a high amount of un unethical practices the which which uh, which make them uh, uh, kind of uh, they they make them shift to towards the private healthcare because it it offers handsome amount to them as compared to public uh, public healthcare so another there are friends uh, multiple issues which cannot be uh, explained in in one video but uh, i have tried to include other issues also Ir uh, miscellaneous issues are irrational use of drugs take for example uh, as i have told you that drug drug uh, our, our treatment procedure is not followed properly by the people because there is lack of awareness among the public that the, the course must be completed once they think they they are uh, they are uh, they are well they leave the medicine in between so that causes uh, antibiotic resistance and uh, low public awareness is also the issue so you can also say see here uh, that only not the healthcare is the problem but also the public level of public awareness that is low is also the problem so people uh, like uh, like poor people they uh, they they don't maintain health and sanitation uh, properly or for example uh, for, for that matter if middle class people also uh, in rural areas you can see that uh, there is not that much of sanitation that is required so poor, uh, lack of availability of uh, good uh, clean drinking water is also a problem because ultimately if uh, our water drinking water is not clean if our environment is not clean that then we are we are bound to we are, uh, we are bound to vulnerable to to, to, to be vulnerable to the uh, uh, health risk so at the first place there must be a proper proper environment proper clean drinking water facility and proper there must be appropriate public awareness among the people that what to eat what not to eat so this is also an issue another issue is of unregulated private sector private sector is not that much re uh, regulated because and uh, and uh, 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 we can see that in private hospitals unethical practices are rampant which which uh, pushes the millions into the poverty line so these are the issues a uh, few issues which i have tried to uh, make before you so you can analyze them and uh, I, I i am not saying that this is this is the whole thing that covers your healthcare but i try to cover as much uh, uh, angles as i can uh, but there are multiple issues so today in today's video we uh, we have only th this much of material so you can uh, listen to it again if you liked it and friends uh, do ensure that you share it with your friends and also ensure that you like to our video and also uh, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so thank you friends uh, uh, thank you very much have a nice day